Good morning, everyone. This is me, Cancer Jigs, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, we will be learning on how to illustrate quadratic inequalities. Keep watching. Good morning everyone, this is me again Sir Jigs and welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, we will be learning on how to illustrate quadratic inequalities. But before we start, if you are new to my channel, just click the subscribe button below and click the notification bell for more updates. So going back to our topic for today, so we will be talking about quadratic inequalities. But first, let's review. Write the mathematical symbol inside the box. First on the list is greater than. So what is the mathematical symbol of greater than? Anyone? So it looks like this. So the big end is on the left side while the small end which is pointing the small number is on the right side. So that's big is greater than small. So big number is greater than small number example 8 is greater than 5 next less than so what is the mathematical symbol of less than that's the opposite of greater than so this time the small end which is pointing the small number is on the left side while the big end is on the right side so small is less than big so earlier we have 5 is less than 8 the third mathematical symbol is less than or equal to so since we already know the less than symbol we just need to draw a horizontal line under it so this is the mathematical symbol of less than or equal to and lastly greater than or equal to same thing you just have to draw the greater than symbol plus a horizontal line under it. At this point, since we are done recalling some mathematical symbols, we will now define what is quadratic inequality. So when you say quadratic inequality, it is an inequality that contains a polynomial of degree two and can be written in any of the following forms. First, ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than zero. Second, ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than or equal to zero. Third, ax squared plus bx plus c is less than zero. And finally, ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to zero. Examples, 5x squared plus 10x plus 6 is greater than 0. So this is an example of quadratic inequality. Why? There are actually two things that we need to check. The highest degree is equal to 2 and the inequality symbol, which is greater than. Second example, x squared plus 5x minus 4 is less than 0. So the highest degree is 2 and the inequality symbol less than. Third, 2x squared minus 15x plus 8 is greater than or equal to zero. This is another example of quadratic inequality because the highest degree is two and the inequality symbol which is greater than or equal to. And lastly, x squared minus 6x plus seven is less than or equal to zero. This is another example of quadratic inequality because the highest degree is still 2 and the presence of inequality symbol which is less than or equal to. However, on the other hand, there are quadratic inequalities that do not follow the four forms but still we consider them as quadratic inequalities. Example, quantity x plus 3 times quantity x minus 4 is greater than 0. So this is an example of quadratic inequality because if we will expand these two binomials 
by getting its product by using the FOIL method, we will have x squared minus x minus 12 is greater than 0. So still, the highest degree is 2 and the presence of inequality symbol which is greater than. Number 2. 2x squared plus 8 is less than 0. So even there is no linear term, but if the highest degree is 2 and the presence of inequality symbol which is less than, still this is an example of quadratic inequality. Third, x squared minus 4x is greater than or equal to 0. So if you have noticed, we don't have constant term. But the highest degree is still 2 and the presence of inequality symbol which is greater than or equal to, still this is an example of quadratic inequality. And lastly, 3x squared minus 8x is less than or equal to 10. So the highest degree is still 2 and the presence of our inequality symbol which is less than or equal to, still this is an example of quadratic inequality. I also have here examples of not quadratic inequalities. I want you to know the reason why. First, x cubed plus 3x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So why do you think that this is not a quadratic inequality? Anyone? So this is not a quadratic inequality because the highest degree of the equation is 3. So remember, the highest degree of the equation should be 2. Another example, 2x squared minus 7x plus 4 is equal to 0. So what do you think is the reason why this is not an example of quadratic inequality? Anyone? So this is not an example of quadratic inequality because of the presence of equal sign, which is not an inequality symbol. So any questions, clarifications? And if there is none, hopefully you learned something for today. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications about my new videos. So this is me again, Sir Jigs. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.